Back in the day, Charter Oak State College used to be one of the three big hackable colleges, which means that you could transfer quick and inexpensive college credits into a large portion of their degree so that you could graduate super fast and for not a lot of money. But these days, there are so many other huge, amazing online colleges to choose from. Does this little tiny 2600 person college still have what it takes? That's what we're going to decide today, and we're going to be grading Charter Oak in four categories so you can decide if this school is right for you. Charter Oak is super transfer friendly, and that also means that they're very hackable because they let you transfer in a ton of credits, and they accept a lot of inexpensive, easy to earn credits from around the internet. If you go to their website, they've got this cool drop down menu here that lists the many different ways that you can earn credit outside of the regular classroom, such as credit for prior learning. Uh, they've got credit for testing and standardized exams, uh, which are mostly like Connecticut school system standardized exams, but they also accept CLEP, DSST, and TSEP exams, which are tests specifically made by Thomas Edison State University over in New Jersey. Very, very cool to see a school accepting another school's standardized tests. Uh, we've got credit for training you might have received. You can do a credential evaluation to see if your credentials are worth anything to Charter Oak. Um, and then you can do credit for courses, particularly they are talking about third party courses. They also, for some reason, include CLEP and DSST here, but that includes also Straighter Line, Study.com, Sailor, and Sophia, which are typically the very best, often the cheapest, uh, and frequently the quickest ways of earning non-traditional college credit, um, and they transfer them right in. This master list document shows all of the places that different types of tests will fit into a degree at Charter Oak. Uh, so we've got you know DSSTs, AP tests, CLEP exams. Uh, all sorts of really good stuff. Plus, we've got Charter Oak State College specific tests, uh, which tend to focus on early childhood education, but they are there, and that's kind of cool to see. If you're new to college hacking, essentially, if you take the college composition CLEP um, through the College Board, which you can do for free if you know how to do it right, and get at least this score, Charter Oak will give you this number of credits, six credits, and that is a pretty incredible return on investment there. Um, they also accept a lot of Sophia courses, though not as many as you would think. You can see we've got like five, maybe 10, another five or so. So we're talking like 20. Um, and there are a lot of other Sophia courses that Charter Oak just hasn't made a ruling on. This doesn't mean that they won't accept them, uh, but they tend to really prioritize, I guess, these ones up here. And if you go to Sophia's website, you can see all of the different Sophia courses that Charter Oak accepts. Um, now, they only really accept about 20 ish of them, and there are a lot of other Sophia courses that they have not made a formal ruling on. That doesn't mean they won't accept these, but you're kind of risking it if you do try to take one of these. Um, and if you're not familiar with Sophia, basically it is a third party course similar to study.com and straighter line, which we'll look at in a minute, where you can go through a course at your own pace. Um, you pay 100 bucks a month, and once you pass at at least a 70%, you can get college credit at many different schools, including for some of these, Charter Oak. Uh, next, we've got study.com, and there honestly aren't a lot of study.coms to choose from either. A big question when it comes to college hacking is where am I going to get my upper level credits? Those are typically ones that are harder to earn because they're more advanced classes, and there are usually fewer ways of testing out of those. A lot of schools would prefer you to take those tests with them. Uh, and you can see with study.com, these are almost completely lower. There's a you know one upper here every once in a while. Um, Charter Oak tends to prioritize straighter line, uh, which is pretty cool. Straighter line's a little bit older, and that makes sense since Charter Oak is also a little bit of an older hackable college and has been around for a little bit longer than a lot of the schools that now are focused on Sophia. Uh, but you can see they've got a lot of general education here, uh, like macroeconomics or personal finance or physics or Spanish, but still like almost no, maybe no upper levels. The good news though, is that they do have plenty of upper level transfer credits accepted through that exam master list that I showed you earlier. And a lot of those are going to come from DSSTs or from TSEP. So there are still ways to earn upper levels with Charter Oak. Besides all of that, we've got a portfolio program and we've got the Connecticut credit assessment program as well. But that's not the only cool thing about transferring to Charter Oak because they actually accept a lot of credits from other schools. So if you have community college courses from like a, from a two year school, you can transfer in up to 87 of those into a Charter Oak degree. If you went to a four year school, you can transfer in up to 114 credit hours. Now you have to be really lucky as to which credits those hours are, but that would be you know, hypothetically mean that you could finish a Charter Oak degree only having taken six credits at their school. As far as like Sophia and CLEP and a lot of these other quick and 
inexpensive ways to earn credit, you can transfer in up to 90 credits. And if at this point your head is starting to spin, basically what all of this means is you can save a lot of money at Charter Oak by using alternative types of college credit. And if that's something that you want help with, we'd love to help you out in one of our College Hacked consultations, which you can read about down below. All of that being said though, the grade that I give Charter Oak for transfer friendliness is a resounding and very strong A. Charter Oak College is incredibly affordable. Back in the day though, out-of-state students used to have to pay a premium, way more than what the residents of Connecticut had to pay. But just a few months ago, partially because somebody was watching this channel and heard some feedback that we had for Charter Oak, they actually just lowered the price of out-of-state so that everybody pays the same amazing amount. And that amazing price is $329, which makes me think that there might be some drama up in New England because SNHU charges exactly $330. So Charter Oak came in and said, yeah, we, we charge $1 less. Now, unfortunately, Charter Oak does charge $305 per semester for their student services fee and their technology fee. But even if you take 12 credits in a semester, that still only brings your per credit price up to around $354. Just for some context, I typically find that $400 per credit hour is a very average price. So to be like $46 underneath that is amazing. And you know how some schools like Thomas Edison State University, when they let you transfer in 114 credit hours, will then charge you a multi-thousand dollar fee to not have to take the full 30 credits? Not with Charter Oak. If you successfully transfer in 114 credits from somewhere else, you just pay for the classes you have left. So you could theoretically transfer in 114 credit hours and then only spend $2,329, take two classes and graduate. But even if you're only able to transfer in 90 credits, you're still only paying under $11,000 at this school. So for all of those reasons, Charter Oak is going to get an A- for cost. When we assess degree choices at a school, we look for two things, variety and flexibility. And as far as variety goes, Charter Oak is actually really good for a school that's so small. They've got a business degree, they've got child studies, which I've never heard of, criminal justice, they've got education, uh, a general studies Chipotle style degree, which we talk about on this channel, um, a couple of healthcare degrees, uh, a nursing RN to BSN, uh, psychology, sociology, social work, which is very rare online. You've got some really good degrees to choose from. But what's even cooler than that is that these degrees are very flexible. Typically, general education at Charter Oak is going to take you about 40 credit hours, but the major areas are not huge. They range from 36 to 45 hours. You can see that this history degree, the major is 36 credit hours. And with this business degree, the major ends up being, with all the concentrations and everything else, about 45 which then means that your free electives are gonna be somewhere between 35 and 44 credit hours, which frankly is amazing. If you don't know why, it just means that you're gonna be able to transfer in a lot more credits to this school than you would at many others. Of course, we'd like to see a computer science degree or an IT degree here besides just their cybersecurity, and there's not a lot of business concentrations to choose from, so we're only going to give Charter Oak a, a strong B for this category. And now it's time to talk about whether students actually like Charter Oak when they go there. And I basically just have a list of things to tell you. So number one, they accept 100% of students, so no problem getting in. But number two, they graduate 57% of their students. And if you're not a higher education person like me, you probably don't know why that's exciting, but it's exciting because the, like, the average for online schools hovers around like 30%. It's bad. Like one third of students graduate, but at Charter Oak, over half. I don't know how they do it, especially when they let everybody in. A lot of schools who have higher rates are a little bit more selective in who they let in. They want to, you know, have you write an essay to see if you're already any good at writing, but to take everybody and then to graduate over half is insane. It must mean that they are taking really good care of their students, guys. That's wild. Other things to know, they are a public, regionally accredited school. They're not a for-profit, so you don't have to worry about scummy stuff happening. They accept international students, and their classes are based on an eight-week weekly system. So they're not subscription-based like WGU. This is a little bit more traditional. You're doing your homework each week, and you have reading assigned. You might have writing assigned, discussion board, a quiz, a test, whatever. Uh, but I have an example of one of their syllabi here, and honestly, this class does look very, very easy. There's not too much homework in this one, uh, but you can see they've laid it out in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. And each week you've got to read the assigned material, review lectures, 
participate in discussions, complete homework assignments, which are probably integrated into the reading, I would guess, and then you've got a quiz. Now, I'm sure a lot of classes will have a little bit more involved homework than this, but this is kind of just a, a level 100 introductory class. Yeah, and here's their Business 499, their capstone for the business degree. And you can see this one's already going to be a little bit harder. They've got these large group case projects. They've got a big individual assignment. Um, and then they still have these discussions, but they have gotten rid of the quizzes. And as you can see here, the cost of books isn't included in the tuition. So you will have to buy those through the Charter Oak State College online bookstore. Or if you want to save some money through Amazon and Thrift Books. I did some searching on the internet to find out what students are saying about this school and the reviews tend to average like 4.4 out of 5 stars and as I looked at the dates on the reviews some of the older ones were really negative but like almost every single one of the recent ones was positive like everything from 2021 to the present day people had like nothing good but but good to say about Charter Oak. And I have to be honest, I think this is the single best reviewed school I've ever looked at. If I had to find anything that students didn't like about Charter Oak, it tended to be their learning management software, which they use Blackboard and it's, it's not the most user friendly, but it's also not that bad. The positive reviews focused on people being easy to reach and contact, um, the classes being straightforward and easy to understand, um, and being able to contact and hear back from your professor, which honestly is super high praise because that's like the one thing that almost every single online school anywhere struggles with. And just as an example, we can go to ratemyprofessor.com and you can see here that while a lot of these categories don't apply to an online school, uh, Charter Oak does have an overall 4.1 for quality, uh, whereas other large online schools, Western Governors has a 3.3, Southern New Hampshire has a 3.5, uh, and then two schools that are very similar to Charter Oak and are the other members of the old hackable big three, Thomas Edison's got a 3.1. Um, and then Excelsior University is rated slightly higher, uh, but it's still very comparable to Charter Oak. So I'm honestly amazed at how good the student experience apparently is at Charter Oak University. So I'm going to do something I've never done since I started making college reviews, and I'm going to give them an A for student experience because honestly, this is amazing. And overall, Charter Oak State College gets a 3. 7 GPA, which is incredibly good compared to a lot of other schools out there. And it makes me feel stupid for not talking about them sooner because they they treat their students right. They have a good price. They have great degrees to choose from. And they're very hacking credit, transfer credit friendly. But if you want to see more schools that are out there, check out this video with the five best online colleges of 2023. I can almost guarantee you Charter Oak might be in the top five for 2024, but we'll see. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.